Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the original release of Windows 11 version 21H2 also gets its monthly optional bug fix update that rolled out on the 22nd of August. And heading to the release notes, the update was KB5029332. And if you do decide to install the update because it's optional, uh, the OS build will be bumped up to 22,000.2360. Now, at the base and core, Windows 11 and Windows 10 are very similar. So a lot of these fixes um, we have mentioned today in previous videos, but, but because we like to keep you posted and informed, and if you are still running this original release of Windows 11, then just a quick video to keep you updated. Now, there are two key highlights. Um, the first is regarding an improvement, how Windows detects your location. So this will help services like your weather, your news, and your traffic information as an example. So um, it improves how Windows detects your location. And then it also supports daylight saving time changes in Israel. And that um, improvement actually rolled out for Windows 10, Windows 11, 22H2, and has now made its way into 21H2. Now, um, this is a non-security update that also includes quality improvements. And the update addresses an issue that affects the group policy service. Uh, it also adds a new APR for D3, D12 independent devices. Microsoft says you can now use it to create multiple D3, D12 devices on the same adapter. And um, when it comes to Windows and actual Windows, the shell of the, the OS.exe, File Explorer.exe, um, there is an issue where Windows might render with wrong dimensions or at the wrong position. This occurs when you scale the display screen. So that has been addressed with this update. And there's a print issue that's been addressed. Um, apparently, uh, the issue was affecting print jobs that are sent to a virtual print queue. Apparently, they were failing with, without an error. And it also addresses an issue that causes high CPU usage. So that's a nice performance fix. And um, it also addresses an issue that was affecting disk partitions. Uh, the system might stop working. This occurred after you delete a disk partition and add the space from the deleted partition to an existing bit locker partition. So that also rolled out for um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 22H2. And the last one, just to mention for the purpose of this video, the update addresses an issue that affects those who use Windows Update for business. Apparently after you asked to change your password at sign in, the change operation fails and then you cannot sign in. And that was with the error code 0 xc 000006D. So that's more or less what's made available with this latest update, KB5029332, which was the August 2023 optional bug fix update rolling out for Windows 11 21H2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.